Hey guys, Isa here, otherwise known as Taxman when I'm playing games. Uh, today I'm going to show you a little bit of my process of how I would animate using Flash and Illustrator. Uh, if you guys are interested in working in Flash and Illustrator, maybe this is just a fun little thing to watch in the background. Uh, or if you guys are just interested in the process of how, you know, you might animate like a run cycle, which is what I'm doing here. Uh, you know, it's also a fun thing to watch. Uh, first of all, I wanted to address, just say thank you to the 250th subscribers that we've gotten. We've gotten 250 subscribers. Uh, and guys, that's only a quarter of a way to a thousand, which is only a quarter of a way to 4,000, which is only a quarter of a way to 16,000, which is only a quarter of a way to 64,000, which is only a quarter of a way to 256,000, which is only a quarter of a way to about 1 million. So guys, we're almost there. So thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you guys for watching my stuff, whether it just be the Game Grum stuff or whether it just be whatever random uh, project I was working on. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys for that. And uh, now I'll continue on kind of talking about the process of animating on this. Uh, first of all, uh, I can't stress enough how important it is to uh, get the keyframes down exactly. Um, a lot of times you can have a you can have some bad keyframes and that will just mess up everything because you know those are that's what they call the keyframes, you know. So um, don't be don't be ashamed to use kind of guides. There's a lot of awesome guides, um, especially by um, the guy who did the animator survival kit. And you probably have a lot of uh, scans on the internet of that of that book. That book is literally like a lifesaver. Helps you a lot with a lot of the uh, the things you need to know about like animating. You know, like walk cycles and just about like secondary motion and, you know, where like the hair moves separately and according to how the, the character is moving. And it just helped me a lot also just, yeah, really just getting down running and walking cycles a bit. And how, you know, a lot of times it can seem like a really daunting thing, but it's actually not too hard if you use some guides, if you think about it, if you act it out yourself. It's pretty helpful. I know sometimes it looks kind of silly, but I mean, it helps a lot to just imagine yourself doing the action or just doing it. And then just seeing for yourself how it feels, you know, and it helps you get a, a good sense of weight on the character, you know, like when they're in the middle of the air, you know, their head kind of like, let, it's kind of let, lets loose, goes up, and then when they start falling back down, you know, their head like, boom, you know, it kind of like wet, it gets a little closer to the shoulders. So just little things like that, and you can mess around with a lot of really exaggerated poses. So that's what I did on Flash, I just kind of drew out the rough frames for it, and then what I did was that I went to Illustrator, I took them all over here. Uh, image trace them just to just kind of get the lines all smooth uh, and then what I did after that was pretty straightforward I just traced them all with um, the, the colors I already had selected for the character you saw there was a little drawing up there uh, besides that just uh, important things to note um, you know uh, you know the, the the roughs are literally just that they're they're roughs they're keyframes and that's why they're they're so important but don't get too attached to them if you feel like a line needs to be smoother this is what um, the uh, pen tool is really helpful for in Illustrator. You know, if you can, you know, try to get the the shapes that you need in the least amount of like uh, in the least amount of points with the pen tool. Uh, by the way, the, the pen tool is—I admit—it's pretty—it's a pretty hard thing to get used to. It's hard to learn, but when you do, it's such a useful tool to use on Illustrator, and, and it's so helpful. It's, I remember I used to use just the the uh, like the like the pen tool and like the brush tool, and like that's fine and all, but like. This gives you really the precision, the precision that you need to, uh, you know, make some good traces, make some good, really anything on Illustrator. So, um, the process here I'm doing is pretty simple. I started with a head, uh, you know, kind of working down on, on getting that. You, know, you can you try to take as many short, I mean, not as many shortcuts, but try to take the shortcuts where you need them. You can see that the head shape is pretty much the same except for, you know, like the, the hairstyle, the hair changes a bit. Um, if I wanted to be a little more fancy, I would have done like, um, you know, maybe like the like the head or like the like the head bobbing left and right as he took each step. But for now, I wanted to keep it pretty simple and just kind of try it out like this. Uh, sometimes less is more. Sometimes don't focus on too many animations at once, and don't try to be too subtle. A friend gave me that good bit of advice. He said, um, she said, if uh, you know if something's too subtle for you, then nobody else will notice it. So sometimes when it comes to you know animating things, try to be exaggerated in the parts where it counts. You know, if you want emotion to really be understood, you know, don't be afraid to kind of exaggerate it, and then you can draw it back from there. Uh, besides that, on Illustrator, um, it's a little tricky because you know you're you're working with each individual frame, 
And at work, you know, we have a guy, uh, Michael. He uh, works through, uh, you know, through Illustrator. He animates each individual frame through Illustrator. And man, that's that's a tough thing, especially when you're working on something that has like like 10 to 15 frames. Um, so just be aware that this is a, a good process if you want something, if you need something to be really crisp and clear. But if you can take some shortcuts and you can make less frames, or if you can just work straight out of Flash or whatever other medium you wanted to, I would suggest that. Illustrator is awesome for getting like the, the crispest, clearest things, but it also is probably the most time consuming. Again, like this is like four frames. If I had made this somewhere else, it might have taken, you know, a lot longer. Um, yeah, don't, don't look at my, uh, my uh, playlist there. Oh, some good video game music. You'll probably be hearing some of it right now behind. So, besides that though, guys, um, the animation is pretty straightforward. The first four frames are, you know, that whole, the first sweeping motion from one step, the contact, all the way to, you know, the, the, the high point, and then back to the contact in the next, in the, the next part. So it's, a, it's four frames, but what's going to happen is that I'm going to get the fifth frame, and I'm going to turn that one, uh, I'm going to get the first frame, turn that one into the fifth frame, but switch the hands on it. So thankfully, right now you see that I'm drawing, um, like, the, the individual legs having a different, you know, like, shade to them, like, darker and lighter. Uh, I'm going to change that later on because it's, you can see it was just a lot easier to do it not like that. Um, but yes, so what happens is I get the first five frames, and then thankfully what I did was that I got the legs, and since they look exactly the same, since they're all the same color, I didn't have to make like a second pair of legs that were like the, the back legs. But I did have to do it for the arms. So you can see that after the first four frames, it's the first four parts, and then after that, there you go, so here's the animation. After the, after the first four frames, I just uh, reversed the, the arms and then kept the legs the same. So there you go guys, there's the animation, you can see the little guy running back and forth. Um, the span, this is really sped up, the span of it was about uh, an hour, uh, but besides that, um, it's pretty straightforward. I, I would get more technical into it, but if you want, if you have questions, don't be afraid to ask in the comments, don't be afraid to send a message, and uh, I'll be able to help you guys out as much as you want. I feel like it's important to impart this knowledge on you guys, you know, I have, it's something I can offer, don't be afraid to ask. So uh, this was pretty much it, just an update uh, on what's going on. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day, and uh, yeah, just look, uh, look out for more awesome things that I'll make pretty soon. Uh, this is part of them, so uh, check it out pretty soon. Uh, this has been Isai, otherwise known as Taxman, and I'll see you guys later.